Hello Makers! For today's Maker Graph Live project, I made a simple coaster out of slumped PLA scrap. Unfortunately, today's project may not be one you can do at home, unless you own a 3D printer and print a lot. To follow along at home, you will need PLA filament or part scraps. Make sure that it's all PLA. You will need an oven that you have no intention to eat out of. This one I bought just for hobbies. You will need a pair of scissors in order to cut stuff down to size, and you will need protection, like stuff to protect your hands against hot, and a ventilator. Whether the scraps come from failed prints or adhesion and supports which help successful ones, if you 3D print for very long, you will find yourself with lots of this sort of scrap material lying around. We will begin by using scissors to cut our material down to a size. Cut to whatever size and shape that you want to show up in your final product. Once we have them cut down to size, we can begin to put them in our oven safe containers. Here I have a silicone mold I made earlier, as well as a pan that I'm not going to use for anything else. Go ahead and pop them in the oven. I have the oven set to about 370 degrees Fahrenheit. My oven is outside. I have a cheap toaster oven I use for polymer clays and for things like this. This should probably be used done in an outdoor hobby sort of oven that you don't use for food. This may be another factor stopping you from doing it at home. PLA emits mostly non-hazardous gases when it's melted, but you should always be thinking about stuff like that. Be careful not to burn yourself. You should be looking to check on them every once in a while to make sure that it's not smoking or burning. And you should be looking for your surface to be pretty well melted and slumped. So here are my results. I have not done this before. My mold worked all right, though the PLA didn't puddle out as much as I wanted. I also ended up with this sort of sheet of plastic. I think it all looks pretty cool. So I'm going to cut a coaster out of this material here. I will draw a circle on it to cut it out. And I will be cutting it out on a scroll saw. Be sure to be wearing safety equipment, especially a ventilator, before you do anything like this. Alright, almost done. Here it is, freshly cut, and then I took it over to the belt sander, sanded it up a little bit, and here's what it looks like, just a little bit more sanded. Let's go ahead and see if the coaster works. And it does. So, I hope you all have a nice day. Be sure to follow us on Facebook for updates, for videos, and stay creative.